Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is the 5th of September, 2015. I'm in Covington, Louisiana. And today, we got bees in the floor joists. Now, we just don't have one set of bees in the floor joists. We got a hive right here, which somebody else had already taken out. I think the guy said last year, we had these guys move in. I got this one right here. We have another one right here. Number two. Another one here. Number three. And lastly, one right here, number four. Well, I'm not going to tackle all four of them in one day. As a matter of fact, I'm only going to do the one right over here today. So, I'm going to finish setting up my scaffolding and uh, start getting busy. And uh, with God's blessings and grace, We'll get these girls out of here into a high body and up to the Abbey. Speaking of the Abbey, I'm only about four miles from there. So this is really close to uh, where they're going to be staying originally, uh, uh, in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. But before I do, I want to give a, a shout out today for a buddy of mine, Julio. You know, Julio, he always wants to come on bee jobs, but unfortunately he's got a job to do, a real job. So, when he retires in two more years, then he'll be able to come out here and we can get bees together. All right, Julio. So, let's get busy and get to work. Stand and get a little close up of what we look inside there. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. But we'll get it done. Catcher, because I'll be looking at that girl. I got a lot of work in front of me. Time to get going. All right. So I've been vacuuming now for probably about an hour and a half, and I've got pretty much most of the bees sucked up. You can see that old comb from where that down this end of it there was another colony down here and the guys that cleaned that out they didn't get all the way so this is the comb from that and then all this is from these guys so I'm gonna vacuum I think one more time before I start cutting out that comb because once that honey starts dripping I think the robin's gonna get going on so let me get back up there and vacuum a little bit more.
Things are looking a lot better now than they were about four hours ago. Getting all robbed out. All cleaned up. I pulled uh, five, uh, no, uh, nine frames of uh, wax put in the box. Uh, four of them had some really nice uh, brood on it. There was a superseding cell on there, so they were maybe making a, uh, uh, another queen. Um, so that's about it for right now. I'll go ahead and head on up to the Abbey now and release the girls. They are released, and believe me, I'm sitting inside of the truck right now, because these girls are not happy. It was a very long day today. That hive was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It took me almost uh, over three hours to vacuum, another hour to cut all the comb out, frame it up. It's now uh, about 4.30 right now. I started at um, right at nine o'clock this morning, so I still got to unload all the truck. But thank goodness, uh, those girls are in there now. The when I was doing the cutouts, there was there was very little brood. There was there was one frame that had well, actually two frames that had really a good number of brood on it, um, and then I did find. A, uh, superseding cell on there and it looked like there was something inside of it um, it wasn't capped yet but it looked like I saw white inside of it so it may it may be uh, um, a uh, queen to be so I'll find that out um, but anyway these girls are up here and I'm thanking God that this day is over so thank you for watching keep on watching and uh, may God bless always. Mr. Red, out.